There's a few types of DJs out there. The DJ with too much music who has millions of songs but only really plays the same stuff. The messy library DJ who has random URLs in track titles and duplicates in random folders. The startup DJ who overthinks genres and only rips music off YouTube, doesn't know where to set hot cues. There's the open format DJ who has to manage so many genres, they just get overwhelmed, they need to declutter and they could benefit from automation. Then there's the USB DJ who only knows the basics of Sync Manager and their organization has become a little bit repetitive. If any of these DJs sound like you, then stick around because I'm going to give you seven ways to better manage your music. Number one is automate your library. I have my downloads automatically populate my DJ software. So instead of downloading hundred tracks, dragging them all into genre folders, this is all done automatically in Serato using Serato auto import and smart crates. Let's take a look how it's done. So what we're gonna do is set up automatically when we download a song from our favorite record pool, that is gonna automatically download into our Serato folder. So first of all, we need to find where our Serato folder is. So I'm using a Mac here, but it works the same on Windows. So if you just go to where your music is stored, so here I've got music, you can see it's underscore Serato underscore, and that's important. So click on that, and then at the top here, you'll see it says auto import. Now that is the folder that we need to remember to set up our automatic downloads in. The next step is to use two browsers. So one browser, which let's say is Chrome, would be for all your general internet browsing. The second is gonna be for all your music downloading. So I use Safari just for downloading music, and there's a reason for that. So what you wanna do is go to Safari, and then go to preferences, and then under the general tab, you want to click here where it says file download location, and you just wanna search for that auto import. So with me, it is music, Serato underscore Serato, auto import, click select. Now, anything that's downloaded here will go into that folder, which is why it's important to have a separate browser doing this so it doesn't download any JPEGs or videos into that folder. We're just downloading music on Safari. If you did want to use Chrome for your auto downloads, it's a similar way to set up the auto download folder. You just go to these three dots at the side, click on settings, then you go down to downloads and then you just change this source here to your Serato auto downloads folder. The next step is to download some music. Now, wherever you get your music from, it doesn't matter because whatever is downloaded in this browser will be added to your auto import, which is why it's important to just download music files. So let's go to um, the mashup.co.uk, which is my chosen DJ pool. And we're just gonna download some tracks. So if I just go into monthly chart, and we just download some of these tracks, uh, download this, uh, download this one called Feel It. Let's download one more, uh, Sky is the Limit. Download that track. All of them are downloaded now, and you wanna make sure that Serato is obviously closed while you're downloading. Once these have downloaded, open up Serato, and you'll see here at the top, there is a folder called Latest Import. And that is where all of our auto downloads are. You can see I've got there Sky is the Limit, Calm Down and Feel It. They're the three tracks I've just downloaded. So it's taken away that step of having to download and then physically drag all the files into your crates. So saving a lot of time, but we're gonna take that a step further and we're gonna use Smart Crates to automatically put these tracks into genre specific folders. All we do to make a Smart Crate is click on this little blue folder here and then we're just gonna add some rules. So we're gonna click on add rule and then we're gonna click on this column here which says added and then we can select anything we want here. Now a good record pool, like a good DJ pool, usually has the metadata. So these will usually download with genres within the metadata of the track. For example, house, pop, rock, dance, hip hop. So we're gonna organize these by genre. So if we just click on genre and then if we just type in house, and click save. You can see at the bottom here, I already have mine set up. So if we look at the three tracks that we have downloaded, this calm down here, if we just go to the genre, it says house, and then this sky's the limit track here also says house. So if we go down to our house auto import and just select on date added, 
you can see there that it's automatically imported these so without having to do anything it's automatically downloaded then our smart creator has picked up that these are house tracks and it's put them into our house folder and you can obviously get as specific as you want with your rules in your smart crate but this is just a very simple way to do it unfortunately this system doesn't work with record box but does work with tractor and virtual dj number two is organizing your hot cues hot cues are essential for seamless and creative dj sets take the time to organize your hot cues within your dj software and create consistent cue points for intros outros drops but here is another way to think about your hot cues differently. So I'm on my Flex 4 here, and this will work with any controller that has hot cues, so pretty much every single one. So we've got access to eight hot cues here. So for your standard hot cues across the top on this side, we've got our intro at the beginning, then we've got where the drums come in, then we've got a drop, and we've got our outro. Okay, pretty basic. But the bottom layer I like to reserve for creative parts of the track, sometimes a cappellas. So we've got. So different pitches within the a cappella of a track. And it just allows us to get creative when mixing. So we can use this in a mix when we're transitioning. So you can get creative that way. On this side, here's another idea for you to set up a little bit differently. On the top layer, we've got different parts of the track that are interesting. So we've got the main drop. Then we've got the synth, where the synth comes in. Then we've got a different kind of synth, a different part of the track. And then we've got our outro section again. Then on the bottom layer, we have memory cues set up so we can live remix on the fly. So we have a four beat loop set up on this synth. Then we have this kind of different synth with the bass and the drums. And then we have this little vocal section here. So as you're live remixing, you can just be like. And you can get creative that way. So it's just a different way to think and organize your hot cues. We go way more in depth on how to organize your hot cues in our new music management for DJs course with over 40 lessons on sourcing music, automation, categorizing your tracks, managing your library and backing up your collection. The links are in this video and in the description. Tip number three is expand your music sources. Good music management starts at the source. Diversify your music sources beyond the mainstream platforms because while all the popular music pools offer excellent selection, you might want to consider signing up for a mailing list or finding awesome edits on Bandcamp or SoundCloud. These offer a unique way to discover new sounds and keep your sets fresh and exciting. Here's a little tip I use on Bandcamp to find tracks that I love. So I'm not too keen on Bandcamp's search function. I don't think it's that good. But what you can do is if you find somebody that you like, if you find a producer that you like, go and click on a track that you like. So I love this producer called Sulele. If I click on one of his tracks, what I would then do is I go down to supported by. Now these are all the people that have bought this track, this Pump It remix by Sulele. The chances are most of these people are gonna have similar music taste to you. And what these accounts will do is favorite their favorite tracks to either purchase later or to purchase them straight away. So if you just click on one of these right now and then you want to go to their wish list or their collection, but if you can just scroll down and you're probably gonna come across pretty quickly some tracks that you like. So that's just a quick way of using someone else's wish list to find music that you love quickly. Tip number four is creating custom crates for different events. Adaptability is crucial for any DJ. So create custom crates or playlists for events that you frequently perform at. Most DJs will organize by genre only, but what about the type of event? Weddings, corporate, seasonal, you can even take it a step further and organize your tracks based on energy levels or moods. This will allow you to find suitable tracks for different occasions and settings so, so quickly. 
Tip number five is cloud storage. Services like Dropbox or Record Cloud Library Sync enable you to seamlessly sync your music collection across multiple devices. In fact, Recordbox Library Sync is such an underused function of Recordbox DJs. You can literally manage your music from your phone. As you can see in this example, you can set up your hot cues and it syncs straight back to your Recordbox library. You can learn more information on how to use cloud storage, including Recordbox Cloud Library Sync, step-by-step -step in our new Music Management for DJs course. The link is in the video and below. Number six is avoid downloading ripped files. Downloading ripped files or low quality files can negatively impact your DJ sets, sound quality and professionalism. It also takes ages to rename all the random metadata attached SoundCloud and mailing lists are your best bet for free music, believe me. And if you need some free music, I'll leave a link in the description to our free music pack with over 100 royalty free tracks for you to download. Tip number seven is utilize external apps. Use special DJ apps like Lexicon or Soundiz to enhance your music management experience. For example, with Lexicon DJ, you can manage your entire library create bulk actions for decluttering, retargeting. You can transfer your whole music library from one DJ software to another in seconds. And if you want to know about the hundreds of features that Lexicon can do for your DJ library, watch this video right here.